Let's see if we can get that one. Wow. What a code. What a code. Oh, man. He's dead. Congratulations. That's a hell of a view. That's mass. He's just a high score. That's a great goal. Look how perfect he is. I mean, he's just matching size. Oh, this is that bull from the first one. Yep. Oh, yeah. He's big. That was the best bull we saw the first one. Yeah, the, how do we have? And then when he turned, I'm like, okay, he's got the full package. Dude, this is unbelievable. Congrats, a great dude. call on call that cow back in. Jack, thank Jack you so Hammer. much. Yeah. yeah. This is a dream come true. Seriously. Unreal. To get a chance to take a bull like this. Look at that. He has everything. Great bull. What do you think of that? Jeez. That is awesome. <laughs> this is absolutely a trophy of my lifetime right here so far. Yeah, that's a stuff. I've that's hunted sheep. Stuff. I've hunted... A lot of different stuff. This is by far the funnest one I've ever Check out this. Yeah. Check out this. I I'm not a very big person, but he's <laughs> taller than me. <laughs> Man, what a bull. Unbelievable. And this is one of the better bulls we saw the whole trip. Stud. So here with a, a great Montana bull. It's been an amazing four days on the CA we've had. I don't know how many bulls we've called in. It takes a lot of self-control not to shoot something and hold out for something like this because it's there's a lot of elk and you get a lot of opportunities and a lot of close calls. But when you hold out and you end up with one of the bigger bulls that you've seen all week, it makes it just incredibly special. And this elk have been kind of my nemesis. I've uh, been in and around a bunch of big bulls and had a lot of close calls over the years, but I've never had a chance to get a to get a good arrow on, in one and uh, to get it done like this was unbelievable. We had just amazing action this morning in bulls all morning. I actually had this bull at about uh, 40 yards this morning. He was raking a tree, snuck in on him, and thought he was going to come and just walk right past us for a chip shot, and he didn't do it. He turned and headed downhill, and I dogged him, and he got in some really thick stuff at him again at 30. And, uh, but there's just so much, um, so many different trees and tree limbs, I couldn't get a shot through him, so I just I ended up letting him go. and chased some other bulls up and came down and uh, we kind of bumped some elk and they went up onto the hill above us and we cow called and there was there was a uh, there was some cows that came down and we called them in and uh, shot them at 43 yards it was just an awesome opportunity so couldn't be more thrilled this is an outstanding hunt and we put it together amazing week Ah. Uh.